Hello, we're back for episode three of the Feel Flows five minute feels to reels videos in which I discuss one or two interesting musical moments from just about every song on this new box set from the Beach Boys called the Feel Flows. Just been going through the track order and we are on track number three of Sunflower, add some music to your day. Now, some songs on their own are not always that interesting, and that's okay. Um, sometimes a song needs really special production or really compelling performance to make it uh, something better than, than just average. And I, I think that's sort of where Add Some Music is for me. It's not that interesting of a song, but I enjoy the production and I enjoy the vocals on it. So it ends up um, being a relatively enjoyable experience for me. Um, but it was difficult to come up with something interesting to talk about, but here, here we go. Um, it's in the key of E major. Relatively straightforward, simple chord structure. part of the song. So in the key of E major, normally when we talk about being in a key, that means that all the notes we hear and all the chords we hear are built on the notes in the scale of that key. So in E major, it's based on the E major scale. So every note that's sung or is in the chord will be from those notes. That's E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and E again. And then all the chords accordingly are built on those notes. So if we go... Some of them are major, some of them are minor, and one of them is diminished. And that diminished chord is the chord built on the seventh note of the scale, and that's D-sharp. That's called, the, that note, the seventh tone of the major scale, it's called the leading tone. Here's D-sharp, and it's called the leading tone because if your mind set is sort of in E major, then you hear the D-sharp, that D-sharp just sort of wants to lead into the E. So, we're in E, oops. D sharp. You just sort of want to hear it go. And part of that is because the D sharp ends up being the third of the five chord, which in E is B. Um, so here's the D sharp as part of the B chord. That wants to resolve to the one chord, the tonic chord, E major. Um, but when you build a chord on the seventh note of the major scale, it's a diminished chord. In this case, D sharp diminished. And it has that same sort of tendency of wanting to resolve to something else. Um, but sometimes it's a little awkward to work with a diminished harmony in a song. So. Um, if Beach Boys had kept to strictly to the diatonic, that is the chords that are in the key of E. That's how it sounds, how they ended up doing it, but with, with the diatonic chord of D sharp diminished, Maybe not quite as satisfying and a little weird sounding. So instead of doing that and basing it on the D sharp, you flatten that 
D sharp to D, and then build the chord on that, in which case uh, it becomes D, just a D major chord. But since it's no longer um, a diminished chord, and a major chord, and since it's built on the flattened seventh rather than the natural uh, seven as it appears in the key, we can't call it a chord based on the leading tone anymore, so what we call it is the subtonic, because it's under the tonic. That's the tonic key, and then we go down here. Subtonic, under the tonic, reflects a flattened seven chord. Um, yeah, so... So that's really all I have to say about anything of interest in the song. It is very straightforward quarterly, but it's a nice production, and of course the Beach Boys vocals are great. Um, I tried to think of another example of a subtonic chord in pop music, and the only thing I could come up with easily was uh, Hey Jude. So it's not in the key of E, but let's pretend it is. Uh, the end of Hey Jude. Subtonic. Now let's say we stay with the uh, normal seven diminished chord. Doesn't work at all there. Um, the notes aren't right for the melody. But that's that's the uh, the feeling of it. That's sort of more. Uh, staple and profound change. I think it's a pretty dramatic chord to use. Um, but I'd love to know your thoughts on whether you agree that that's the music is not that interesting musically, aside from maybe that. Let me know if this is the right level of uh, technical theory discussion. Uh, let me know any other thoughts you have. Please stay tuned for next time. We're going to talk about uh, another song that starts off with a very standard kind of thing going on, but then between the performance, the vocal performance, and a couple of sort of left field changes, transforms an otherwise simple song into something actually really kind of interesting, and that's uh, that's got to know the woman. So join me for next time, and in the meantime, if you haven't picked up Field Flows, the new Beach Boys box set, please either buy a physical copy, stream it, download it. It's good music, and I think if you haven't heard the original albums, you'll be pleasantly surprised. If you have, you'll really enjoy the outtakes and unreleased stuff. So we will see you next time. See you there.